right here on Capital in the Morning, joined by a very special guest today. We've got Professor Abraham Abraham Waithima, the Director, Daystar Leadership and Professional Development Institute. Welcome, Professor. Thank you very much. And it's good a, morning. Good morning. It's yeah. it's an uh, absolute pleasure to have you with us today here in studio. Yeah, uh, just before you joined us, we were speaking about... Uh, well, actually, for the past couple of days, we've been speaking about our education systems as a whole. Yeah. So before we dive into a conversation around Daystar in particular, I was wondering if you could share maybe your thoughts, opinions, feelings on uh, this story that we discussed yesterday. Uh, the Education CS came out and said that he was going to issue a stern warning to parents who are storming schools yeah. to harass teachers over poor performance over national examinations. And, you know, where does the in terms of school results, where does the uh, um, onus lie in getting good results? All right. Uh, Thank you very much for having me. And that is an honest conversation. Uh, I mean, you share the concern of a parent who take uh, their kid to a school and hoping that they will do well. But um, a little misplaced for the parents to go to a school and demand the ouster uh, and chase down a principal, mm-hmm. accusing them of the performance of uh, their kid, while you share their concern. Maybe that's not the place to take it. Yeah, uh, there, there are obviously, I think, better routes to lodge complaints that uh, this school is not doing well, but not to an individual, because a kid's performance uh, is not necessarily... Uh, in totality is not the teacher's work. Exactly. The society, the parents, the home they are coming from, all these contribute to the performance of a kid in school. Yeah, I definitely hear you and and we we agree with that take. That's what we were saying yesterday, right? Yeah. Uh, And it's important for us to protect our teachers and protect our school systems. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah, as part of this conversation. Um, Now, I'm wondering... uh, with Daystar University, yeah. how, how do you feel about these proposed changes in secondary education from an 844 system moving to more of a CBC system? And have you seen any change in the students produced through these changes? Well, um, the, the, the ones coming through the CBC have not yet reached us. Mm-hmm. And uh, as a university, we are preparing for them. Uh, our own Vice Chancellor, uh, Professor Laban Peter Airo, has really led us into what we refer to as problem-based learning. Okay. So we are already running ahead. Uh, Before these people get to us, we are preparing for them because the CBC is meant to sharpen somebody's focus. And uh, one way to prepare them is to begin at an early age that you are presenting a problem to them for them to come up with solution. In Mm -hmm. other words, the teacher only facilitate the creation of the solution. It's not a teacher's role to just download material on a kid. They are also part of the creation of the solution. Uh-huh. And so as Daysta, we are getting ready. I love that. And you know, <laughs> you're totally right. It's about critical thinking, right? Yeah, For yeah, a kid to be able to stand on their own two feet once they leave that school sure. in order to uh, solve today's problems. Yeah. Uh, so you mentioned CBC students haven't gotten to yet, but yeah. uh, what are the key admission requirements for undergraduate programs for those who sat their KCSE exams last year? All right. At Daystar. Yes. Actually, it's a general um, criteria of admission because, as you know, uh, the universities in Kenya are regulated uh, by COE. And so anyone who gets uh, C plus and above, mm-hmm. uh, then they are eligible to join any university. And that's the same thing that is in DASTA. Mm-hmm. Uh, so to join any degree program in DASTA, you need a C plus. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. And can you maybe uh, walk us through the application process, maybe some of your deadlines? Yeah. Well, th- the January 2024 intake uh-huh. I- is still open. We-, we are hoping to close that by 26th of, uh, of January. And uh, anyone, you know, who's called C plus and above is eligible to join a degree. But let me allow me to <laughs> just mention to those who don't quite get the C+. Plus. It's not the end of your academic journey. Mm-hmm. We have other programs, uh, and, and, and it's not just Daystar, but let me speak for Daystar. 
we have diploma programs oh. uh, that one can enroll in. Uh, so if you have a C, uh, C minus uh, and C plane, it's possible for you to join a diploma program. And if you have a D plus, you can actually join a certificate program. Oh. So it's possible actually to uh, begin your academic journey. It's okay. not the end that you didn't get a C plus. Uh, and we have seen many come through our doors and uh, they begin uh, with a certificate which lasts about six months. That enables them to join a diploma program, uh -huh. which goes on for two years. And then finally, they join their degree, uh, you know, uh, program of their choice. Okay. And, mm -hmm. you know, you talk about uh, Daystar University yeah. uh, and how, how you work to get ahead of yeah. things like the CBC students, sure. CBC students who are going to be com in incoming. Yeah. I'm wondering if you can speak to maybe technology and how is that uh, integrated into the learning experience at Daystar University? Yeah. Uh, maybe let me give a general view of, of how we are sure. placed at, as Daystar. We, we have three campuses, mm -hmm. <laughs> two physical ones. Uh, so we have a campus in Nairobi, uh, just next to Nairobi Hospital. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, our main uh, campus, which is at the river, 45 kilometers from Nairobi. And that's a vibrant place, uh, a very nice place to be. Uh, I think uh, academically, that's a very good environment to learn. But we also have our Odell campus, and this is accredited. In other words, we have uh, programs that we run and you, you don't have to be on campus ever mm -hmm. uh, if you choose not to. Yeah. Uh, and, and so we have students uh, that do our online program from wherever they are uh, in the country, outside of the country. We, we have quite a number of those programs. So, so we have those three, uh, three campuses that you, you can join at Daystar. Mm -hmm. And our program range, uh, as you may know, will, will range right from certificate program to diploma to undergraduate to master's and we have four phd programs wow uh, so we we have quite a range yeah yes and i and i love that use of technology that you can do distance learning yes, you know yes. you don't have to be confined to maybe being somewhere further away in the country where you can't get to the athi river campus or the nairobi uh campus so that's really great to hear uh are there opportunities for students to gain hands-on experience or participate in research at daystar university oh yes uh, quite a number of them let me mention that we, we have a NAM of the university, and it's the one that I had. Mm. <laughs> it's Daystar Leadership and Professional Development Institute. So what do we do there? We give um, the, the, the soft skills, uh, both for corporate and also for students. We prepare people to go out to the, wa the world of work, the world of business, uh, and so forth, and we, keep the, we equip them with relevant skills mm. uh, that they need. We also do certification programs. We train them on certification programs, uh, CPA, uh, we have CIPS, uh, we have CIM, that's for marketing, and we have uh, project management. So we, we have an array of them. So it's not just the academic. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have these uh, professional qualifications that we, we offer. Uh, so we offer both to the student and to other people who are out there. If you allow me, um, you know, uh, Daystar, we, we, we are, on, we are Christ, Christ centered university. Okay. So there is value proposition that we make. Mm. So it's not just the academic. We also take care of spiritual formation. Mm -hmm. uh, as a matter of fact, uh, when you enroll uh, to Daystar as a student, we require you to go to chapel twice in a week. And that goes a long way in helping one um, in the spiritual formation. And we do quite a bit, uh, quite a bit of that. We also are very keen uh, to see that our young people are excelling in sports. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether you are aware that one, <laughs> one of the players in uh, the Shuja uh, Seven uh, mm. is one of our students. Oh wow! Uh, I didn't know that. <laughs> great scholar, and that okay. this this gentleman, Patrick Odongo, is doing a great job in uh, in Daysta, uh -huh. and uh, and we facilitate uh, the development of uh, extra extracurricular activities. So it's not just learning, learning. You mentioned about research. We are doing quite well, and we encourage our students through this problem-based learning. Mm -hmm. We want students to be the creators of knowledge. And so we have a vibrant arm that deals with research. As a matter of fact, we have a number of research grants that we are running. 
uh, not too long ago uh, in partnership with uh, Jack Watt, we, we won a consultancy uh, with Kenha and mm. we, we are running that. So it's not just uh, classroom learning. We are also taking our students out there and uh, putting the university out, out there to be safe. Yeah. yeah, that's wonderful. And maybe yeah. one more question yeah. before we take a quick break. Sure. Uh, we've talked about uh, the students and, and how you helped form 360 ra- well-rounded students, you sure. know, from education. You mentioned the spirit. You also mentioned sports and yeah. uh, leisurely activities. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm wondering what kind of... Uh, Faculty, how do you ha- keep help faculty members stay up to date on the latest trends and advancements in their respective fields? Okay, wow, Th- thank you very much. So, what we do at DASTA, we want to enhance the skill of everyone. Mm-hmm. So, we have ongoing, uh, um, ongoing equipping of skills. So, if we identify that this is a skill that is needed, then we come up with a training. Okay, it can be done in house. But we also can send people out there to go and do that training that we feel is a gap so that our professors, our faculty, they are up to date. In addition, of course, to the long term uh, training in uh, postgraduate studies, PhD, we, we send our faculty wherever, wherever that program is found. You know, as a matter of fact, I was actually sent to University of Cape Town to do a PhD in economics. Wow! Yeah, a- I saw and, that. And many others. So, so we we are very deliberate uh, to make sure that we are equipping our faculty and raising their bar. We through those uh, four PhD programs that I mentioned, mm-hmm. a number of our faculty also enroll in that, and we give them time off. Uh, to be able to uh, acquire this qualification so that they can be better faculty. Uh, we're having a really interesting conversation off air about your ex candidate program. Yeah. Maybe would you be would you be able to share a few a little detail with us about this program? Yes. Uh, thank you very much. This is a program that we began in 2016. The program is meant just to prepare um, high school graduates. The next steps. After high school, you realize that after high school, there are no belts mm. uh, to wake you up. <laughs> <laughs> that this is the next lesson. Yeah. You, you are going into the real life, the real world. Oh, yeah. So we, we began this program with the main aim of imparting life skills to our high school uh, graduates. Mm-hmm. And we've done very well in that area. So we talk about issues of personality career planning, financial literacy, communication skills, networking skills, decision making, problem solving. Mm. All these, we cover them in what we call life skill. Then we move and got into another uh, pillar of the program, which is spiritual formation. We are very keen that our young people are not only, you know, flourishing, <laughs> in their academic work and their business work, but they are also uh, becoming, uh, they are developing in their spiritual formation. Mm-hmm. Now, the next thing that we do, we give them ICT literacy skills. Mm-hmm. You know, we are not making you, you know, an expert in ICT. We are making you competent in the use of ICT, uh, the computer. What you and I do, I'm an economist, I, I'm not a computer expert. Yes. But I use computers. Every day. And we give you a certificate for that. Because mm-hmm. sometimes you're applying for a job and they ask you, have you done computers? What is the evidence and mm-hmm. so forth? So we do that. The other thing that we do, uh, we, we teach them sign language. Oh, wow. Yes, very important. Mm-hmm. This is a critical life skill. And you, as you may have seen, I think all studios, TV stations, you have a sign language interpreter, mm-hmm. including churches and big gatherings these days. There is none without that. It's a necessity. So we equip, uh, we equip people. I think the other th- and the other thing that we do, we think it's very important for people to learn Chinese language. Mm-hmm. And so, in all that, in six weeks, wow. we take through a high school graduate. And it's my considered opinion that just before the student rushes into a degree program, why don't you, as a parent, allow your daughter or your son to go through this 
uh, this program. Mm -hmm. We guarantee you that we prepare them very well. Yeah. Uh, from a personal point of view, my two kids have actually gone through this program and it have turned out okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can imagine. Quite, quite, quite I mean, better okay. than okay. Those are incredible life skills. I yes. mean, I was already impressed when you spoke about the life skills, but then to talk about sign language, yeah. learning a little bit of Chinese, uh, yeah. that's really preparing the student for the world that they're entering. Yeah, exactly. And we, the, for this um, January, we are beginning on 22nd. Okay. And uh, so anyone Monday. who is wanting to enroll, please come over. Uh, we, we, you can enroll with us. Get in touch with us. If actually so, you go to www.daystar.ac.ke forward slash DLPDI. DLPDI. Yeah, Daystar Leadership and Professional Development Institute. Okay. You'll get us there. And uh, we can we can also share our number just in case somebody wants to call for uh, that particular program. Please, yeah. It's zero seven nine six four four five one eight one. I repeat, zero seven nine six four four five one eight one. Wonderful. And they can also send us an email. Yeah. DLPDI mm -hmm. at Daystar dot AC dot K E. Okay. A six week ex candidate program. Wow, honestly that program sounds amazing. It, uh, it has been we, we have actually since twenty sixteen we have partnered with several organizations including Compassion International. We have partnered with several churches. Um, this year, we are actually going to Mahio. Hmm. Uh, we, we have a program there that will be running for ex-candidate. So this is a program. We have trained over 6,000 uh, of our high school since uh, 2016. Wonderful. Uh, Professor, before I let you go this morning, I do have to ask you about a conversation we were having just before you walked in. It was around uh, our CIA, education CS, uh, Machogu. He was giving an address yesterday, and yeah. I, I don't know if you saw this photo. A young boy ran over to cover him from the sun with an umbrella. Okay. Uh, and... He didn't take the uh, our CS did not take the umbrella from this young boy. The young boy stood there for a very long time. There's photos circulating circulating the internet of this young boy looking tired, fatigued, sad. He's in a school uniform, and I was just wondering if you had any thoughts and opinions on that story. Uh, well, I saw the picture. I don't know the background and the details, but let me say something. Mm. If it was voluntary that this young boy saw, you know, the, the CS either being rained on or the sun was scorching, whatever it mm -hmm, was, mm -hmm. and he rushed to offer support. I think I would congratulate that boy that he sees a need. I'm sure there were adults around there, there were. who never saw that need uh, to go and cover the, the CS. So on that point, mm -hmm. I think I would really congratulate the, the young boy. Mm -hmm. But at the same time then wonder the, the, the older people, mm -hmm. the adults that were there, when they saw this young boy tiring and so forth, who is it to blame? Is it the CS uh, or is it the people around <laughs> the people around who saw it and they are seeing this uh, young boy uh, struggling? So the question, you know, we go back to those life skills. Mm -hmm, yes. <laughs> I mean, you see a need mm -hmm. and you're not rushing to meet a need. Mm -hmm. So on my part, I would congratulate the boy uh, if I met him, I think I would really give him a thumbs up Yeah, uh, he, because he saw a need. He saw somebody who is in need and he went to meet that need in whichever way. You know, that's, it, a, that's a great point that you made. Is the, is the hummingbird, uh, still a hummingbird, mm. uh, who this forest was on fire and mm. with a little beak went to pick drops of water and was dropping on the fire. And the other animals were asking, what are you doing? And the hummingbird said, I am doing what I can. Oh, so, so the true. young boy was doing what he could. Absolutely. <laughs> Professor, you've made an excellent point about empathy, yeah. and we need to preserve empathy in our communities at all costs. Yeah. Uh, so I really appreciate your uh, very thoughtful opinions. Yeah. Um, Thank you very much for joining me today. It's yeah. been a very insightful conversation. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, one more time, if you wouldn't mind giving that phone number and email address if somebody wants to get in touch with Daystar University. Indeed. And so uh, our application process, by the way, is all online. Okay. You, 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 there are two ways. You can 
go online or you can visit us at our Nairobi campus. You'll be helped. They, they are a battery of people that are willing to take you through the process of, uh, of registration. And you can also then call us. Uh, so I'll give you the general number, which is 0709-972-000. I take that again, 0709-972-000. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you very much, Professor, for joining me this morning. Asante. It's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah. And uh, do I need to say that, uh, you know, uh, Sonny, your academic journey you can begin it wherever. It's not always conventional that you go from primary to high school to university. Some of us take a detour, mm -hmm. but if you have desire to go on with your academic journey, begin where you are. There is always a program that can put you on the right trajectory to realizing your dream. Very true. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. <laughs> it's never too late to start, no. so start wherever you are. Thank you. And thank you very much for joining us today. And thank you for having me. Capital FM.